Coming up on Around Kern County, the Rexland Acres Community Sidewalk Project has come to a close. We're giving you a look at all of the exciting improvements. And the Kern County Cooling Centers are officially open for summer. We'll show you how to find a location near you when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. Tuesday, June 7th is California's statewide primary election. And before you head to the polls, here are some election day tips if you're planning to vote in person. Be sure to check your voter information guide for your assigned polling site, which was mailed directly to you. You can also look up your polling site online at kernvote.com. Remember to bring your mail ballot with you to surrender, otherwise you'll have to vote provisionally. Once you arrive at your designated polling site, you'll check in and be guided by election officers through the voting process. As a reminder, poll sites open at 7 a.m. and close at 8 p.m. If you're planning to vote by mail, be sure your ballot is postmarked on or before election day to be counted. You can also return it to the Kern County Elections Office, one of the official ballot drop boxes, or any poll site until 8 p.m. on Election Day. For more information about this year's primary election, again, please visit kernvote.com. Kern County Cooling Centers are officially open for the summer. As temperatures rise, you can beat the heat in a location near you. During these warmer months, cooling centers provide a safe haven for people at risk of extreme heat. They're run by Kern County General Services and our Department of Aging and Adult Services. Cooling centers are open from 1 in the afternoon until 8 in the evening, if temperatures reach certain thresholds across our county. If you're heading out to one of these locations, be sure to bring snacks, games, and books along with a face mask. To access our cooling center dashboard, which is updated daily, please visit our website at kerncounty.com. Kern County General Services is working to keep our community looking its best. Their special program, Graffiti Off, not only provides removal services to residents and business owners in the unincorporated areas of Kern, but also keeps our Kern County parks clean. General Services recently removed graffiti at Hart Memorial Park using an environmentally safe process. Out here at the river, we are abating the graffiti, removing the paint, trying to restore it to its original state. Whereas if we were elsewhere, we could actually paint over it to uh, make it look better, like in a building or whatever, to abate it. Out here, we're trying to restore to its natural state and natural beauty. As children get out of school and families spend more time outdoors, General Services is making sure our parks are beautiful spaces for our community to enjoy in these warmer months. If you would like to report graffiti for removal, please visit our website, kerncounty.com, and search graffiti off. The Kern County Board of Supervisors proclaimed June through July as the Kern County Library's annual Summer Reading Challenge. Residents of all ages are encouraged to participate and read 10 books or read for 10 hours. This challenge also comes with prizes, free events, storytellers, and performers. The goal is to encourage our community to keep reading and learning all summer long. It really encourages self-directed learning. So the ability to read things that you enjoy. So reading for enjoyment, that encouragement then leads to a love of reading. And even though it's focused on children, it is for all ages. We really encourage parents and families to participate. To get involved in the library's Summer Reading Challenge, please visit kerncountylibrary.org. And we're ending today with a look at Rexland Acres' finished community sidewalk project. Kern County Public Works celebrated its completion with the South Bakersfield community over the weekend. They held a ribbon cutting, community resource fair, and color run. Hundreds of residents showed up to enjoy this event, which was first started when this community advocated for safe pedestrian improvements. 
Kern County Public Works built nearly five miles of sidewalks, including new storm drain lines, curbs, ramps, drive approaches, and higher visibility crosswalks to ensure a safe, ADA-accessible environment. These $15 million worth of improvements were funded through grants as well as contributions from Kern County Public Works. This is one example of how local government works. It is a true partnership with the people it serves. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.